Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, bonjour et merci de l'invitation de pouvoir m'adresser à vous ce matin euh, dans un ensemble d'occasions que ça fait déjà au moins trois ans que j'attends euh, que ça se passe. Uh, in, in 1990, in 2007, um, and I know we're not going political, but I remember raising in caucus, uh, what do we plan to do with the year 2017? And the response was, is what's 2017? <laughs> uh, and so uh, when I mentioned it would be the 150th anniversary of this great democracy, uh, some of the lights came on. But then I also... <laughs> I also then said that there's something else going to happen that year. I said uh, that 2017 will be the 100th anniversary of Vimy Ridge. And it is uh, the year where this country was bloodied overseas its youth and uh, built that status of a nation state amongst all the nation states. And so you have an incredible occasion to relaunch Canada and to in fact engage. And so I'm here to touch upon the communion of those two uh, dates, the 150th of this democracy and the 100th anniversary of this great victory. And we uh, tend to have shifted a military history to a more socialized impact of what it has been. You know, what happened in the home front, uh, the women working in, in, uh, to, in the Second World War, and engage, and we moved away from, in fact, the military dimensions of it, and the incredible sacrifices, not only of those who served, but also of their families and extended families, to ensure that the nation continues to do its work and remain safe. And so I'm raising here today Uh, something that I raised in 2007 at the Committee uh, on the Restoration of Vimy Ridge. And I raised it uh, because we were going to acquire more material from Croatia to be ready for in 50 years from now for another refit of the memorial uh, because we had quite a time to get the material this time to do it. And so uh, what I wish to do is bring to your attention a dimension that has not been particularly uh, announced or presented so far, and that is the military history of this nation. And it's not unusual. Moi, je à Québec. Et en 2005, je suis allé voir les premiers organisateurs du 400e anniversaire. Et quand j'ai regardé la documentation de ça, il n'y avait pas un mot sur le côté militaire du 400e. Et pourtant, Québec, c'est une ville garnison. Ça a été fondé dans un endroit qu'on pouvait défendre, justement, le commerce. On pouvait établir euh, une base solide pour pouvoir s'épanouir et amener la religion, et ainsi de suite. Mais il n'y avait pas de mention. Et euh, c'est un peu la nature de la bête, que ce n'est pas dans nos mœurs de peut-être faire ressortir cette dimension-là. Mais euh, énormément de gens y ont participé. We had a million people in World War II. Uh, in uniform and put the extended families, and that's talking five, six million people who had a direct uh, link with, in fact, the conflicts. But the aim is not just to commemorate. The aim is to give a reference for the future. And that's very much what I hope to present. Now, I have 143 slides, but I'll go through <laughs> as fast as I can. In 1998, I was Assistant Deputy Minister of Personnel at uh, National Defense and was responsible for the Millennium, well, and responsible for the Millennium Projects. And we got engaged very much with the repatriating of the unknown soldier, which has become quite a focal point uh, in this country. But it wasn't an original idea because the Australians did it for their 75th anniversary. And we said, gee, that sounds like a good idea. So we did it. And I think it was uh, a better success than, in fact, the crash or the fear of the crash of all the computers. So Vimy Ridge, <laughs> we've got Vimy Ridge that's going to be 100 uh, years old. And Vimy Ridge is a long ways from here. And the aim is to repatriate Vimy Ridge here, to make Vimy Ridge uh, more tangible to Canadians uh, and to Canadian society and to the future generations who not only serve, but also those Canadians who support 
this nation's work internationally. And so the, the ridge and the concepts uh, of what it was done was in fact to handle the uh, advance and the recognition of that great sacrifice. Well, the project I'm articulating here is not a project to rebuild Vimy Ridge in Canada. I mean, even a general is not that foolish. Although ambitious, not foolish. And so what I'm looking at is trying to bring Vimy Ridge to the reality of not only the past, but the reality of the future. And the future is not what necessarily we expect it to be. And certainly that great American philosopher Yogi Berra said that. And so that future can be and can continue to be complex. And this is a great nation state. This is not a, a sort of the 143 third country out of 194 in the UN. We're amongst the 10, 12 most powerful nations in the world. And as Churchill said, when a nation state acquires power, it acquires a responsibility beyond its borders towards humanity. And so a nation like ours cannot stay inactive in the international world when we believe in things like human rights. And that means for every human being. And when massive abuses of human rights happen, we cannot no more hide because the technology makes it available and in our face. And so in that reason, I believe that this nation has gone through a process of metamorphosis over the years from the Cold War, if those remember that, into a new era, a new era in conflict resolution of leadership as a leading middle power in conflict resolution. And as such, we are going to continue to take casualties, be they military, be they humanitarians, be they diplomats, we will continue to send people in harm's way. On the 8th of April, 2007, just the day before the commemoration of the 90th anniversary, six Canadian soldiers were killed in Afghanistan. And they're still being put in harm's way. And whether it be in Afghanistan or it be in Darfur or be it in the Congo or wherever in the world, there will still be people, our citizens, committing themselves and a recognition of not only the past, but a reference for them into the future. Uh, and the sacrifice is what we're looking at with this commemoration. And that's essentially what I'm trying to get at, is it the reality of the monument today and into the future for all of us. And the reality is the sacrifice of Mother Canada. And what I essentially am arguing is that we choose one of the statues that's on the Vimy Memorial and we reproduce it here. And the one I am sort of announcing, but that is open, of course, is, uh, is that one, is the one of Mother Canada. The expression of the sacrifices, the expression of the commitment uh, of a great nation uh, and that price that a great nation has to pay. And in so doing, uh, I would contend that bringing that monument here and putting it in country will give us a tangible reference of the past and also a reference for the future. And so uh, what I propose, uh, and I, as I told you, I had a lot of slides, uh, and because of time, uh, I'm limited. Uh, I'm proposing choosing one, that's, a, that's another statue, and there are 20 of them on the monument, is doing the following. One is uh, we choose one statue and we build it two to three times the size of what it really is in the same material that the Vimy Ridge Memorial is built, which is incredibly white and it stands out. You can see Vimy Ridge uh, miles and miles and miles away. And that we put it, uh, I can't read the line. If we put it in an area where it can be uh, seen and where we can have assemblies, we can do commemorations and the like. We, um, well, we also um, put it in a place in our national capital where the political decisions are taken of whether or not we will make those sacrifices or not. And that's why in the capital. It's the politicians that we elect who implement 
what we want and if it means having to go overseas to protect and we take casualties in doing that in assisting other people then the memorial should be here to remind not just Canadians of the sacrifice but remind the politicians of the enormous responsibility they have when they take such decisions. Uh, I think that uh, uh, funding is an exercise of government and non-government and as you will be working some of those problems out today and also uh, a project office uh, will be required to, as one, as you said earlier on, to make government departments work together. Now that would be some surprise, in fact that would be a name for 2017 in itself. But anyway, <laughs> to do that, and, and I will go rapidly because of time, uh, I'm looking at where those two X's are, are options. Is you go towards the river and you look across the river and you see this incredible white monument standing amongst the greenery of the parks on the other side and it's you can't walk without seeing it you it, it will stand out and on the other side of the river in those parks are ideal place to embellish it and do whatever you want and, and easy access and people who visit the capital will see it and be attracted to it as they've been attracted to the great uh, museum. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the aim of the exercise is to bring Vimy Ridge home through one of the statues in the same material with the aim of not just the past and recognize, but the aim of consciousness that there will still be sacrifices by this nation, by its youth and others, either in uniform or as humanitarians or as diplomats, in far off lands to advance things that we take for granted and normal. Human rights, good governance, rule of law, uh, gender equality. And to do that, sometimes we have to do it at the price of the blood of our youth. And Mother Canada will continue in the future to suffer and, and remember those losses. And I think it would be not only inspiring uh, for those who serve, and those families of those who served, but it will also be a beacon for those who take the significant political decisions of sending uh, our diplomats, our humanitarians, and our soldiers and police into harm's way uh, in order to advance the plight of human rights, the plight of humanity, uh, and stopping the massive abuses of human rights. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's my aim, and I hope it will have a certain resonance with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>